surface area of a rectangular pyramid. Surface area is the sum of the area of all the faces on the pyramid. In a rectangular pyramid, we have the length and the width of the base, and then the height, the straight up and down height inside of the pyramid. We also now talk about the slant height. That would be leaning over like this. Slant height. And slant height, we use the cursive letter L. If we were to take the pyramid and cut along the edges to make a net, we would have our rectangular base and four triangles. Notice the slant height of the pyramid becomes the height of the triangle. Now, if you can't remember formulas, you could always break the pyramid up into its shapes, find the area of each one, and then add it together. But if you have a formula sheet, or you can remember the formula easy, surface area equals one-half PL plus big B. P being the perimeter of the base shape. This formula works whether it's a rectangular pyramid or a triangular pyramid or any type of pyramid you have. So it's very important that you remember to find the perimeter of whatever the base is. In this case, rectangle. And big B is the area of the base. All right, so let's go ahead and find surface area of this pyramid. So write your formula. Surface area equals one half PL plus big B. Now, I'm a big fan of formulas because they're very easy. You plug in what you know and solve for what you don't know. However, in this formula, the P and the big B are not given to you in the picture. They are things that you are gonna need to figure out before you get ready to plug it into the formula. So P, remember, is the perimeter of the base. Let's go ahead and figure that out. The base is a rectangle, so to find the perimeter, that would be 8 plus 4, 12, and then there's an 8 and a 4 on this side, so another 12, so the perimeter is 24 feet. Big B, area of the base, so length times width is 32 feet squared. So now that we have everything we need, we can plug into our formula. Surface area equals 1 half 24 times the slant height, which was given to us right here, 16, plus big B, 32. Remember, plus signs mean to stop. So we're going to multiply 1 half, 24, and 16. And that's going to give us 192. Stop and add 32. So the surface area is 224 feet squared. Squared because we're finding area.